Hey guys, Kaur Schlossberg from BK. Great to be with you. Unbelievable week in the uh, forex markets, in the equity markets, in just about every other capital market in the world. We haven't seen this kind of volatility since the good old days of Lehman. And those of you who survived, I commend you and salute you. And we hope that next week uh, will be a little bit more saner. But we've managed to survive as well this week. And I wanted to... Um, kind of change direction this week and show you a couple of tricks that some of the readers have emailed me back and share some of their strategies with you. And as usual, our disclaimer that none of this video is uh, made with any accuracy or, or efficacy to any of the trading strategies contained, that this is strictly for educational purposes. You should test all of these out yourselves on a demo and pretty much also write to me if you have any additional ideas or, or uh, tweaks to the, uh, to the strategies that I put together for you because I'll be happy to uh, test them out and share them with everybody else. Now, having said this, let me show you an oldie and a goodie that one reader had emailed to me that I think has really improves the strategy that I had originally shown. Those of you who are very familiar with my breakout, the session breakout strategy, basically we follow price um, at the London Open. In other words, if, if the price breaks the range between um, whatever was the Asia high low, we go with either the high or the low. And that was my simple strategy, had no filters on it. Well, a reader wrote in and added a very, I think, intelligent filter. He basically said, we only follow this strategy, my session breakout strategy, if the price is in sync with a 100 period SMA. And a 100 period SMA is, is essentially an arbitrary indicator. I mean, it could be 50 period. It doesn't really matter. The critical thing is you want a long enough period SMA. Um, this is a 50-minute chart that I'm using to establish trend because the whole idea is you want London to break the, um, the Asia session, which is consolidation, in the direction of the overall trend. That generally tends to give you much better directional cues. So I just pulled up a chart over the last trading days of the euro, and you can see... Um, how well that strategy actually would have worked for you over um, over the last several days. Now, what, what I find interesting is that let's start with the most recent data first because I think that's kind of fascinating. We had, obviously, massive volatility yesterday in the euro. The euro had uh, broken well below its 100 SMA, but by Asia had consolidated, right? And so this is the Asia high-low, 1,700 to 200, right? And after 2 o'clock, the price doesn't break out the highs and the lows, but when it does break the high, which is like right around here, the price is above the 100 period SMA. The, the trend confirms that the break should be legitimate. And we are coming in at 27.50, and it's pretty, it's pretty much good for 50 points over here to the upside. Now, swing back to the day prior, and as you can see, of course, we're in a vicious downtrend, and we're only going to take any breaks that are of the Asia session highs, lows to the downside. In this case, for example, again, very good signal. The Asia low is around here. We break it after 2 o'clock, and that was good for uh, probably about 30, 40 points in this particular example. So um, here's another example where we have Asia session high low. What's really kind of cool about this is the main trend is to the downside. But when London comes in, we have a fake out that uh, breaks to the upside. We don't take that because obviously we're only looking for downside breaks. This is a, we're not interested in, in breaks against the broader general trend. And that turns out to be a fake breakout, a second fake breakout. And then finally we get a break to the downside, which actually um, is a much more legitimate, uh, much better signal. So you can see how the 100 SMA here acts as a very good guardian, as a, as a terrific filter of the right positioning, aside from just a blind, let me take the, uh, the high and the low of whatever is going on. Um, in Asia. Here's another example uh, from 5.4 where Asia session low here is broken to the downside and of course you know we have a very very uh, severe tr uh, trade to the downside. So many more examples of this. I just wanted to show you a few of them um, in this particular pair. Here's another one in uh, cable which tends to be a lot more jerky and I kind of wanted to see how well this worked on cable um, and I was surprised actually to see that this works relatively well on cable as well. So here's cable um, Here's the uh, you know the two o'clock uh, breaking cable here. I'm sorry. Let me just uh, let's just back up a little bit here. Um, cable clearly in a downtrend. Uh, one of the unusual things about cable here is that because we've had so much movement, this is actually a very unique case today. All of the UK hung Parliament news came out in Asia, so that Asia actually made a big move, made a low, uh, but we still basically the net bias is here short. 
um, and it made a low, uh, broke a low again here, and was actually good for another almost 100 points. It was a very quick candle here, but it was a very good, uh, excuse me, 50 points, uh, move to the downside. Here, again, um, very interesting situation. We have Asia session highs, lows. Uh, they are broken after 2 o'clock. Let me just zoom in on this so you can see because it's not so compressed. This is Asia basically making its, you know, consolidation after 2 o'clock. We're below the 100-period uh, SMA. We break to the downside, and this trade is good 50-80 to 50-20. Uh, Another very, very good downside trend. One more example that I want to show you on this Asian session, uh, London session breakout. Here we are to the downside. Um, Asia session is, let's just back up a little bit here, over here. So Asia session is about 1700 very, very small consolidation. Uh, trade breaks to the upside. And this actually where pound, of course, fakes you out. Here, uh, it breaks to the upside. The 100-period SMA signals, yeah, the bias is good to the upside. And it's only really good for 10 points. And then cable kind of uh, sinks back down. And, of course, you're much more likely to be, uh, to be faked out by this. Um, so one false signal, I think, out of six or seven examples we looked at. So that's, I think, kind of uh, relatively good. Here's another example where we have a you know, long downside trend, biases to the downside, Asia, Asia consolidates. We come at a 2 o'clock lows. We break them over here on the lows, and that's a very, very significant move to the downside. So um, here we are one more time. This is, of course, pound. just want to show you... Uh, the last of um, of the session. So here's what's interesting. Um, we are in Asian session. Let's uh, let's take a look at the uh, two o'clock time frame because we're only going to look at anything that's broken above the two o'clock time frame. So here's Asia session. We're above the 100 period SMA. Two o'clock time frame does break out 53.50. And it makes a move for about 25 points. So depending on how short your targets were, maybe you could have made um, a 20-point scalp to the upside. Uh, this was not. This obviously uh, faked you out and broke you down. What's interesting here, though, is I think if you follow this um, the other way, if basically you know uh, you you say, oh, it broke the Asia session lows, and now it's below the 100-period SMA, you had obviously a lot more continuation. You, you sort of could have sort of changed your bias. Um, one last example, let me see here. Uh, we're, be we're below the 100 period SMA. Here's the 2 o'clock candle. Asia session low is right about here. I'm going to mark it just so you can see this visually. Uh, break of the Asia session low below the, to the trade, and it really comes in down. So overall, I think it's very, very clear that this is a very decent filter to the breakout session. By basically staying on the side of the longer-term trend, uh, the breakout setup tends to be a lot more accurate, and hopefully the um, the targets are, are better for you. Anyways, I'm wishing you the best of luck, the best of trading. Next week, we're going to have more BK Trades. Come visit us um, on the website. And everybody who is or going to be in California, I will be in Pasadena June 12th, live seminar 245 only uh, if you register right now. And I'm going to show you twists and turns on the OO setup that will blow your mind that I have not shared with anybody on YouTube that would actually happen to really um, perform quite well for me over the last several days in the volatility that we saw, uh, which was relatively remarkable. Again, come visit me at uh, Pasadena, June 12th uh, at the Traders Expo. Register on the, online for that. And come visit us at the BK Trader website. Wishing you the best of luck and the best of trading. This is Boris Schlossberg, over and out.